हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture let us understand the concept of frequency reuse in cellular communication. The frequency reuse is the core concept of cellular mobile communication. In the frequency reuse the total available channels are divided into number of channel sets and each channel set is assigned to the cell. So the frequency reuse is the core concept of cellular mobile communication system. So it is very much a core concept or very much important concept. of cellular mobile communication system in this concept the total available channels are divided into number of channel sets and each channel set is assigned to the cell so which means for example if uh, we are having 1500 frequency spectrum so this is the total available channel out of which 15 might be allocated to each cell so we can say 15 is the channel set so as you can see in this diagram we are having different cell each cell will be allocated 15 channel set for its operation so this is just an example this diagram shows the concept of frequency reuse where each cell is given a name from a to g so which means we are having different clusters and each cluster is having seven cells from a to g the cell with the same name can use the same channel set so as you can see here we are having a here we are having a and a so these cells can use the same channel set so this is nothing but the frequency reuse in the same way we are having b so these cells can use the same channel set and the cell name with c they can use the same channel set so likewise for all the cells here the cells are assigned a group of channels that is completely different from neighboring cells so here cells are assigned to a group of channels that is completely different from neighboring cell so you can see the cells are assigned a group of channels that is completely different from the neighboring cell so which means in this diagram as you can see cell a will receive different set of channel compared to cell d similarly each cell in this cluster will receive different channel set here as i told you cell with same alphabet use the same channel set so cell with same alphabet will use the same channel set so the cell which is named as f will use the same channel set here you need to remember that the same set of channels can be reused in another cell if the cell is at a distance of capital d this capital d is known as reuse distance so here the cell with same alphabet uses the same channel set so which means the cell with same alphabet will reuse the same channel set our same set of frequencies so to reuse the same set of frequencies the channel should be at a distance of capital d which is reuse distance this capital d can be denoted as square root of 3n into r so this is the formula for reuse distance here capital d is the minimum distance between center of the cells that use the same frequency band so here capital d is the reuse distance that can be given as d is equal to square root of 3n into r so capital d is the minimum distance between the center of the cells that uses the same frequency band here capital r is the radius of the cell here for example if we take cell c from the center up to this we call capital r which is radius of the cell here capital n is the number of cells in a repetitous pattern that provide the sufficient isolation between two cells that uses the same frequency this capital n is known as reuse factor so for example in this diagram 
we are having the group of cells from alphabets A to G which means we are having 7 cell that is one group and we are having another group with 7 cell and we are having another group with 7 cell. So, we can say n is equal to 7 in this example. So, in the taken example we can say n is equal to 7. We will take one more distance which we call that as small d. So, which is distance between center of adjacent cell. So, from center of A to center of E this distance is known as small d. So, in the same way from center of A to center of D the distance is small d. In the same way from center of A up to center of G the distance is small d. Similarly, for other cells here small d can be represented as d is equal to square root of 3 into r. So, this is the formula for small d. So, here you need to remember that the frequency cannot be reused by the neighboring cells. So, for example, if the frequencies that are used by channel A cannot be reused by channel D or channel B. So, the frequency can be reused only by the cells that are available in the neighboring clusters. So, it should be with the same name. So, the channel can be reused only by the channels that are in the neighboring clusters. It cannot be reused by the neighboring cells. This is about frequency reuse. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.